Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at Cardano, doing an update, doing our price predictions for 2021. I put out a post on Twitter, you guys got back to me with a lot of questions and questions about what could this price be. So you know my channel as a Hopium Free Crypto channel, some of you know it as the bearish only channel. I'm just looking at charts, giving you my thoughts on the charts and we take it from there. So in today's video, we're going to look at what I see coming up for ADA for the rest of this year. Plus we'll update it monthly because things change and we can't just stick to something. Otherwise we'll be left with a $300,000 Bitcoin call in September, which is obviously not going to happen. So we need to be flexible in our mindset. That's the whole purpose of trading and investing, or at least that's the way we should be trading and investing, not necessarily the purpose of it. But today's video, I want to show you some of the ways that I look at the markets and how we get to these Cardano price points and timeframes as well. So let's start with the market cap. So Cardano is at $40 billion, $1.24. This, uh, we'll, this will come in handy in a moment because we're going to do some uh, figures, some you know, can this ADA get to $10, etc. We're going to do some calculations on that. We've seen ADA drop around 5% in the last 24 hours and about 12.5% over the last week. So the most of the market is down and it is trending lower, faster than Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down 2%. A lot of these others are more than 2%. Obviously, stable coins aren't. Um, so that's probably not a good sign at the moment for altcoins, but that is increasing the BTC dominance Remember, BTC dominance is something that we look at. The, the, the outlook I have for the dominance is that we're going to see this climb. So best case scenario for Bitcoin, which means the rest of the alts will have to bleed. Their pricing will go down against Bitcoin. Uh, this is probably going to be somewhere around the 56 to 61% level. So that means Bitcoin might even stay where it is and it just mean that the alts will have to bleed out. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with that, definitely check out the videos on my channel. Go to the playlist that is for new Bitcoin crypto investors and I explain how to read a chart of the altcoin against its Bitcoin value because that is going to help you reduce the risk in the market and just make life a whole lot easier when it comes to your trading and investing. Stress-free, that's the whole point, purpose of it here. We want to be as stress-free as possible so that we can make good decisions. So the dominance, I think has the potential to move up a little bit. Worst case scenario for Bitcoin, maybe we get to this 52% level. We're currently at 46.5%. So we still have a fair bit to climb from here. Uh, I don't think we're going to get this far up, but if we get a few more percent on, then that will really show in the altcoin market as well. BTC USD, we just saw a breakdown of a minor support level. So this could affect the rest of the market. So keep all of these things in mind as we come to a an idea or a a conclusion, short-term conclusion for the pricing of Cardano and the time frame as well. Just broke through those support levels. ADA time frames. So we're just doing extreme macro views here. Big picture moves. Okay. Not the hourly, not the minute, none of this sort of small stuff which is littered across YouTube and Twitter. I want to look for big time frame turns because I prefer to trade long-term swings. I don't want to be in front of my computer screen all day trying to trade, but I am interested in researching and uh, basically getting on big trends. So that's what I'm looking at here. The major things I see are end of year, December, December, January. Obviously, it's early in the year, but we're looking towards that period of, of the market. Um, September, you know, getting towards the end of the year. And then the other turns are around the middle of the year, June, July, May. So we've got a lot that could be coming up at the end of the year. The other thing here, we've, which we've looked at before, are counting timeframes. So we have 61 weeks between low to low, 66 weeks low to low, uh, 56 top to top, 60 weeks here. So there is a long time frame between lows to highs, highs to lows. That's something important to note. At the moment, we have our 61 weeks brings us out to about November. So I'm using a bad, uh, an, an average but a number that sort of pops up as well. Say you've got 56, 66, halfway in between is about 61. We've got 61 as well. So I'm using 61 from a major low, brings us out to about November. November also lines up with December's. Look at this. We've got a lot of December hits, meaning the market likes to use those timeframes to turn. Therefore, we're looking into around quarter four. So we need to have some sort of idea quarter four, pricing for Cardano. That's what we're looking at at the moment. Let's look at the dominance. 
50 percent a major thing that we look at other channels love to look at moving averages or relative strength indicators i don't use that in my trading i use gan analysis and wyckoff analysis using bar charts not the colored candles not the default settings i have to specifically use the bars because it clears up all of the noise on the chart and i just want to see uh, major swings okay so i use a 50 percent because this is like a magnet to the market it loves to come back to these levels and use them as support or resistance so i use a lot of that as well check this out that's our major range we've hit up to 61 percent firstly we we touched at 61 went back under tried it again maybe we'll find some basing out between the two and three percent dominance so this is just looking forward could cardano remain at this point which means it would hold its pricing or will the dominance fall which means maybe it holds its pricing but everything else takes off without it i don't think it's the latter i think maybe we'll probably see a little bit of a bleed out on cardano because it has been very strong for uh for this bull market and been holding up reasonably well looking at pricing so this is the market cap now i've got some prices up here as well a couple of questions come up were can it be ten dollars can ada reach ten dollars that would mean we'd need a 320 billion dollar market cap now we have ada at 40 billion dollar market cap we have Ethereum at a $220 billion market cap. That means it would have to leapfrog Ethereum as Ethereum goes up as well, as Bitcoin goes up as well. So in this market cycle, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to see ADA at 10 bucks. Five bucks for sure. We've looked at that before. We looked at ranges when we were hitting our $2.50 price targets as seen here. So $2.50 was our top. The market happened to run this entire move, this low, which took a year and a bit into this top at around $1.60, $1.55, projected from that low. So it's this range here. It did that in three weeks. This took a one year to go from $0.03 cents to $1.50 and then to do another $1.50 move from the low at $0.90 cents to up around the, the top at $2.50. It only took three weeks. So the market was really, really hot. We talked about this at the time. Receipts are on the channel. You can see those videos. And that was starting to look a little bit hot. So I'm using the Fib tool. We got 100% range to $1.40. So we hit that, reversed. That's to be expected. That's why I was expecting some sort of top, whether it was intermediate or long-term, I wasn't sure, but I definitely saw a top coming. The other thing to note here, our moves up, tell the market to tell more buyers to come. Do not come. Do not come. I don't know, but they're just not coming. So we're seeing the moves up get shorter and shorter. I'm measuring this range, projected it from this low. Not as many buyers are coming and the sellers are coming in. Now, some people might relate it to YouTube videos causing too much FUD. I don't know what to, I don't know how to help those people. All I'm doing here is looking at the charts and, sh and explaining what is going on. The moves, the buyers are running away. They're not purchasing at the moment. What we want to wait for is a dump or a basing out volume begin to dry up like we're seeing here, except the, the, the market is still falling. And then it can look like a good period to potentially begin accumulating more. Now, I've got a couple of zones, zones between 40 cents and a dollar. That sounds pretty scary to, I guess, a lot of people who may have bought at $2.50. There's no guarantee that we'll get to 40 cents and a dollar. The reason I have this zone is that we haven't seen much trading range between those levels. You can see we just went straight up and then we had a lot of consolidating in the dollar to dollar fifty, but we haven't seen much trading going on besides back in 2018 and early, uh, late 2017. So it is possible that we find ourselves get vacuumed into this region to find a base before we start to climb out again. If we do, then we've got a lot of uh, option or opportunity there to be buying cheaper ADA. Okay, and then if we wanted to stake some of that, we can go and do that. There are plenty of staking pools out there as a segue into my own staking pool, link to that is down below as well. Uh, it's free to go and stake it. Anyone can stake their Cardano over there. You can take it out anytime you like and uh, very easy to do. The video to it, check it out. The Investor Accelerator staking pool for ADA. All right, so, so far it's not looking so good. The moves up are getting less. The timeframes that we've been looking at on Cardano seem like quarter four. So this is 
also not looking so good. I'm looking for a turn probably in the next several or few months to later this year. The price range, anywhere in that 40 cents to a dollar. We're going to keep updating this. Hopefully for the long term, we see some levels hold up here. Otherwise, hopefully we've got some cash to be buying it up cheaper. In terms of a prediction, I'm looking for somewhere between that 40 cents and a dollar. Now with all of that bad news, lower prices, God forbid, out of the way, let's have a look at what we could get to the upside. $2.50 is the old high. That would be a $80 billion market cap. $3.75 would be a $120 billion market cap. Five bucks would be a $160 billion market cap, all within reach here. Now, if we get, uh, if we stay where we are at our 50% level, which we're just starting to fall under at the moment, which isn't a great thing, but if we stay where we are, go up to our $5 target for the year, 300% return. Pretty good stuff, but there's obviously going to be much better projects out there than 300%. Should we fall into this region of 40 cents to a dollar, let's take it somewhere halfway at around half price from where we are now at a dollar 20 down to say 60 cents, it's going to bring us to about a $20 billion market cap. If we get that five bucks, we're looking at 700% return. I would much rather 700% return than a 300% return. So it's not that I am desperately hoping for the market to drop, but I'm not going to be sad if it does drop because the returns have just doubled. I can get something at 60 cents rather than $1.20. I'm going to be making 700% rather than 350%. At the same time, I'm going to be staking. So my 5% staking reward will be six times more than what it currently would be at that 60 cent level should we get there. Okay, so there is good opportunity when the market falls. That's where we're going to be making massive money compared to buying it at $2.50 and only getting a 100% return to $5. If you don't have money on the sidelines, figure out a plan. Maybe you want to consolidate, get out of some other altcoin positions and start to build that plan so that you do have some funds. Maybe you want to go and work a second job. Maybe you want to just go out and get some money somehow, some way, as quick as possible. I've given you a time frame here of where I think the market will be going. I think probably we're safe for another few months. Anything can change, which is why I'm saying subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so that you see the videos come up. But at least that gives me some sort of idea. Okay, I can be patient. I don't have to buy every single dip, every five cents on the way down. All right, I want to save my funds. So that's what I'm looking at further up the charts. Price predictions up, price predictions down. Okay, so I can get some good returns. Now let's get through Cardano against the altcoins or the smart contracts. You know, how does Cardano compare to Ethereum, Polkadot, Solana, Binance? Let's look at those. We'll start with Bitcoin and then get on to those. At the moment, it's on a downtrend. That's what the chart says. Lower highs. The lows have been getting lower. We're holding up at the moment. Should we fall? We fall into this little zone of my purple box here at 50%, 20, uh, 2,700 sats. Needs to find some support. Otherwise, again, it'll just keep going down and, uh, and continue to test previous resistance levels. At the moment, our next range is around 3,200, which is the old top. And then we head down to 50% and then the 38%, which is close to these lows here at 21, 2200 Satoshis. I don't see a bottom coming in just yet, so I'm going to be patient with this. Now, if the market was to move up, our price targets, and we want to get to that $5 level, if BTC moves up as well, then we're just looking for around a 7600 Satoshi ADA price. All right, we're currently at 3800 ADA, which is giving us $1.25 because Bitcoin's at around 32, 33,000. We'll keep measuring that, looking at all the different prices on the way up as we go. But from here, five bucks definitely looks possible. I'm not saying it will happen, but at least it looks possible and it's still a realistic look at the market moving forward. Uh, ADA ETH holding up well. It's above old highs. You can quickly and easily see that. Some good volume on these lows, uh, bringing in support, and the lows have been getting higher. That's a good sign. Look at that. We did smack heavily on 50% and get knocked straight back down, but we've recovered. So this is a good sign. Ada Binance, probably the worst out of all of the charts. Uh, it hasn't been a very good performer against uh, BNB, which is a little unfortunate, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> At the moment, we're holding up okay. Volume is drying up and the lows are getting lower. Lower highs, lower highs, lower lows, lower lows. Slight downtrend at the moment. So we need to find some support here and then start to base out and move up, which would mean Binance would have to come down. 
Ada, Dot, one of the best performers. Dot has been terrible. Ada has outperformed Dot extremely well. It's just been up only, up only, up only. I do note volume is drying up, which means maybe we're going to see a bit of a turn in the market. The ranges have been getting shorter. All it is here is that and that. You can see the range is getting shorter, meaning the buyers are becoming less and less. So less people are wanting to buy at the moment and probably just sitting on the sidelines waiting. Last one I have a look at is Ada Solana. This uh, Ada was strong, then it was weak, and now we're at this sideways period back to nearly where we were. So Solana is also another fantastic project, which I talk a lot about. If you were to have both of these in the portfolio, at the moment, it seems like it's pretty reasonably balanced. At some points, Ada outperforms, other times Solana outperforms. When this is going down, this means Solana is strengthening, uh, is, is gaining more strength than Ada. Doesn't mean Ada's price has to fall. It just means Solana is performing better. So that's why it's nice to have a bit of a balanced portfolio with the rest of these other, other uh, cryptocurrencies. So overall, what we've looked at is timeframes, prices to the downside, prices to the upside realistic potential for the upside, realistic potential to the downside, although it seems scary and crazy. Could we ever actually see a Cardano under a dollar? Anything is possible in this market. We would, weren't expecting it to crash at this point and begin to hold up at a dollar twenty, but here we are. So I'm going to keep these timeframes in mind. I'm going to keep updating the charts. Stick around on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bell notification icon down over here. Like the video up if you found some value from it. Thank you for your comments. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Are we going down for the rest of the year or is this it? Are we turning around? Are we heading back up? I do appreciate all the comments and I love hearing about your wins in the market, especially when you've been noticing it on the chart and making good gains from, from what you're seeing and protecting your capital. Because at the end of the day, it's not about what we make, it's about what we keep. You've seen it happen so many times already. The amount of people who have made money and then lose it on the way down. It happens time and time again, and it is proven to happen again in the future. Otherwise, everyone would have to be selling out at the top and it would just dump the market straight away. So make sure you have your plan ready to go for the next stage of the bull market. Like I said, it's not about what you make, it's about what you keep. Thanks once again, guys. Like the video, subscribe, bell notification icon. See you on Twitter for daily crypto updates. Easiest way to be up to date as soon as possible. I'm over there a lot. And also Instagram for daily Q&As. So uh, follow me on Instagram, links down below. The Investor Accelerator staking pool is down below for Cardano, plenty of other links, newsletter, free newsletter coming out, crypto, investing, everything in between on that uh, free, drop your email down below. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.